I wanted to thank you for joining us today for the second of these video lessons that we call Five Minutes of Encouragement as we study through the book of Philippians, just a few verses at a time. Last time we talked about some exciting things. We talked about how a church that was begun at Philippi, how it grew even in the face of some obstacles and persecutions, and how we too can grow in those circumstances. We talked about how we're not in this all by ourselves, but rather we have fellow Christians and we have our Lord to depend upon. And we also talked about how Paul wishes them some very important things, grace, peace, and joy. And so today we'd like to continue studying that. And as we face some difficult times today, in fact, we just heard today uh, that there was the first official case of uh, the coronavirus in Monroe County, uh, Indiana, where we are. And uh, certainly that's disturbing to us. So I saw pictures again of bare shelves and the idea that this uh, virus is very contagious, going to uh, spread a, a great deal and how a lot of people have died worldwide. And we can overcome the stress and the worry, the anxiety that comes with these difficult times. Paul says this when he's writing to these Philippians, and he talks about how uh, they have shared with him in the gospel. He began in, begins in verse 6, and it says, And I am sure of this, that he who began a good work in you will bring it to completion at the day of Jesus Christ. Just in that one verse, I want us to think about two things that are so encouraging one is that we depend upon God for the success that we have in life. We depend upon Him uh, so that we can have and we can overcome any trials. See, it's not our own human strength. It's not the frailty of a human flesh, but rather it's uh, trust and confidence and faith in an almighty God that we depend upon. The second thing that I wanted to bring out from that passage is that he lives his life. Paul lives his life. He encourages the Corinthians to live their lives looking to the day of Jesus Christ. We look for a day in which we'll no longer live on this earth, but rather we will meet the Lord in the air to be with him. Uh, the faithful have that hope in him. Then in verse 7 it says, It is right for me to feel this way about you all, because I hold you in my heart, for you are all partakers of me with me of grace both in my imprisonment and in the defense and confirmation of the gospel. Paul had some really hard things that he was dealing with. Uh, the chains, the imprisonment that he's dealing with, his concern and his care for all the churches. And we see what a difficult uh, task that was. But Paul says, I've got you in my heart, and you're all partakers with me. We talked about, about last time, partnership and fellowship. And here they shared with him uh, in the grace of God. And so what we realize when we read this, once again, I guess we can make the point that we're not alone. Uh, we have one another, but also when we look at this, that we depend upon one another to be part of that. Well, when we're looking at all the difficult things, we can look and we can find brethren who can be an encouragement and can stir us up. And so we need to turn to those brethren. We need to turn to those uh, that we care about so much so that we can be uh, stirred up. He says in verse 8, for God is my witness, how I yearn for you all with the affection of Jesus Christ. In these two verses, he talks about the love that Christians have for one another. What a blessing that is. What a great thing that is, that Paul could sit there in prison, and he could talk to Philippians who may be suffering in, in other ways. But they're all sharing together in the grace of God, and they all share a love for one another. Uh, there is a great blessing today as we look at the things that maybe we face that are uh, not easy. Uh, these challenging times, unprecedented warnings going out. Uh, the idea that uh, we ha have closed down businesses and people may be uh, wondering about their finances, how they're going to make it through this. And we realize that we put our faith in an almighty God and that we have the love of the brethren. We have one another to turn to. And there's so many good things to look at that even Paul, when he was in prison, uh, he wasn't dealing with a coronavirus or uh, any of this, but he was in prison. And even in that circumstance, he was able to think about the brethren that he cared about so much. So I hope that today, as you go through this day, uh, Saturday, that as you enjoy the, the blessings of life, and maybe you get stressed out, that you'll think about that we put our trust in an almighty God who is in control, and he'll complete that work. We look forward not to the day in which the coronavirus will be over, but we look forward to the day the judgment day, that we can go to be with the Lord. And as we think about that, we have love for one another. 
We appreciate you watching today. My name is Paul Adams, and this has been 5 Minutes of Encouragement.